Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Apple Mafia, stand up. Let's go. Ladies and gents, welcome back to The Random. It's your host, Smallwood Worldwide. We're back again with another video. Now this week, if you were like me, you have the opportunity to witness Apple's far out event. And if you're a tech lover who likes technology that makes your life easier in all the key ways, this was a tech lover's dream. However, today we want to take a different look at Apple's event. So despite the fact that they made an announcement for the AirPods Pro 2, which now have, guess what? Touch controls. Very nice. Apple Watch Series 8. We all know how valuable our Apple Watches are. Now for the ladies, they come with tracking ovulation. They also help you out with sleep tracking and a number of other features such as blood oxygen. Just incredibly healthy and all things to guess what? Make your life better. You move on from that, you have Apple Watch Ultra. Listen, I pre-ordered it, cannot wait to do the unboxing video for you. However, Apple Watch Ultra is not just for if you're doing deep sea diving or if you're in you know, extreme conditions out in the snow or heat. Listen, sometimes you just need a little action button in your life and you know, you're an athlete or you work out heavy like I do and you play all kinds of sports. Listen, even if you just wanna look fly with something new and something different, especially that orange band, ooh, it's nice. Listen, Apple Watch Ultra clearly is top tier. We can't wait to unbox that for you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for that. In addition to that, they moved on to, you know, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, which again, great collision detection, things you hope you never have to use that are there. Emergency SOS, utilizing a satellite, that's pretty groundbreaking for a phone. And I'm sure Apple has it implemented incredibly well. I think that feature comes out in November, but again, great stuff from Apple. Finally, my personal favorite, iPhone 14 Pro and a 14 Pro Max. You know how we do one terabyte 14 Pro Max. We got that deep purple. We'll unbox that for you here in about a week, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, amazing features, but Dynamic Island, there's nothing like it. Listen, a lot of times we listen to folks who do a lot of leaks and things of that nature, and it's pretty cool, but guess what? There's no better source than Apple themselves. Dynamic Island, cannot wait to utilize it, cannot wait to see what all the app developers make use of it with. Stay tuned for that. Now, let's get to the business of this, right? And the business of it is this, right? Every time Apple has a new event and they release new products, there's always somebody who has something to say. For instance, in this case, Apple Watch Ultra gets announced, right? Incredible product. Garmin comes out. They release this tweet. Why? Why? Apple's not thinking about you. Work on improving your product. Work on being relevant. Work on making sure that your product can do at least a fourth of the features that Apple Watch does as well as they do it. Which right now, to be honest, it doesn't. Also, Samsung. Samsung released this tweet, right? Or rather a string of tweets. Samsung, we know that, you know what? You love garnishing the market share. You love just throwing product after product after product after product after product after product out there. And guess what? At some point, you're still promoting Apple through all of your advertising as opposed to telling your folks who actually buy your products what your product does well. Then you just released the Galaxy 5 Pro that is kind of not that pro. I mean, I don't know. If it were me and I was Samsung, you might want to stand up and start making sure your products are a lot more polished and can actually compete as opposed to tweeting, you know, and being Twitter fingers with Apple about their events and their products. Because yeah, always on display. It's been a long-term standing feature of Android for a long time. Guess what? People care about it, but they really care about it now that Apple has it in their, their devices, right? Um, in addition to that, let's also talk about RCS messaging. People were up in arms about Tim Cook saying that, hey, guess what? Basically, if you want the Apple experience, buy an iPhone, right? Apple doesn't need RCS messaging. Yeah, it would be nice. It's a nice to have, but it's not a must have. If you want the experience of an iPhone and an iPhone user, he was right. Ultimately, you should purchase an iPhone. RCS messaging today, tomorrow is Google Meet, the next day is Google Hangout, the day after that is Google something else. Listen, maybe Android will get it together and they'll create their version of iMessage that they actually stick with one day. Until then, don't criticize Tim Cook for doing what he does best. <laughs> and I'm having fun with this, right? So finally, you have YouTubers, right? us, folks who create, right? Some of the folks who've been in the YouTube business a long time that have long been critical of Apple. I always get a great kick out of watching them scramble to get their hands on Apple products that they criticize that 
they review really from one small angle, right? Word to Walt Mossberg, who kind of highlighted the fact that the M2 MacBook Air came out and a bunch of YouTubers were complaining about what? Oh, it doesn't export video with this, so we don't think it can handle that video. Now, be clear. We're fully aware that it's your prerogative to make your review from your vantage point, and you can test a product in ways that it may or may not be used traditionally. However, you're alienating a large part of the base where there are people who use Microsoft Excel. There are people who want to see, can it handle Zoom? There are people who just want to see, does it watch Netflix in high definition, right? It doesn't hurt to kind of go out there and add that piece to your video, but again, your choice. If you want to show us the same exporting thing, you want to show us the same benchmarks, all the best to you. Until then, listen, we'll see you soon for our unboxing. Stay subscribed to this channel, The Random. We plan on bringing you more exciting, more fun, more entertaining content to come, and we'll see you again soon. Peace.